Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. In this session of Geography, we shall discuss the part 2 of Solar System. So in the part 1, we have discussed till Venus planet. So from this, we shall discuss from Earth till Neptune. Okay, so moving on to Earth, which we live. Right, this is our Earth, which supports life. And this is the third closest planet from the Sun. Okay, so facts about Earth. So what is the distance between from Sun to Earth? It is 150 million kilometers, which is equal to one astronomical unit. So one astronomical unit, that is AU, is equal to 150 million kilometers, which is the distance from the Sun to the Earth. And in terms of miles, it is 93 million miles. Okay, so Earth has one moon. Venus and Mercury doesn't have any moons. So moons will start from the earth. Okay, so earth has one moon that is our natural satellite it is not artificial. So satellite is one which revolves around a planet. So here moon is the natural satellite of the earth. Okay, so does earth has rings? No, earth doesn't have any rings. So what is the time taken for rotation by the earth? It takes exactly 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. Okay, this was asked once in two or three years back in SSC CGL examination. 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. And what is the direction of the movement of rotation? That is from west to east. That means sun rises in the east and sets in the west on earth. And what is the time taken by the revolution period of the earth? It takes 364 1 by 4 days in the anti-clockwise direction the earth will revolve around the sun. So this 1 by 4 days for every 4 years we consider it as in the leap year that is 366 days. Okay. So next moving on to Mars and the fourth closest planet and the last of the inner or terrestrial planets. So this is the Mars. Right. So moving on to what are the facts about Mars. So Mars is the fourth closest planet from the sun. And what is the distance it has around 228 million kilometers from the sun. Okay. Why it is called a red planet? Because the Mars surface is dominated by iron. That's why it is called as a red planet. Okay. Moving on to the moons. So it has also the natural satellites that are moons. It has two moons called Phobos and Deimos. Okay, this is a very repeated question. What are the moons which revolve around the Mars? Phobos and Deimos and it has no rings like Earth, Venus and Mercury. So what is the time taken by the uh, rotation period? It takes 24 hours and the direction is from west to east. And what is the time taken for revolution? It takes 687 days okay for revolution in the anti-clockwise direction for revolving around the sun this is the fourth closest planet from the sun and some more facts about mars so mars has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide nitrogen and organ okay some of the important space missions include our India space mission Mangalyaan that is Mars orbiter mission okay we have succeeded in our first attempt to send a space mission onto the Mars that is Mars orbiter mission which includes a budget which is less than that of the Hollywood movies which was mentioned by a honorable prime minister okay the other uh, space missions like Mariner 4 Maven these are some of the space missions and there was a rover which was sent by NASA that is called Curiosity Rover to collect some samples from the Mars planet. So this is a famous Curiosity Rover sent by NASA of USA. Okay. So why it is called red planet? Because of the iron content or on the Mars planet. Okay. This is the fourth planet from the sun. So these are the four inner or terrestrial planets after Mars, we have the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Then what are asteroids? Do you have any idea? So asteroids are nothing but these are rocky debris. Okay. These also revolve around the sun like other planets. Between Mars and Jupiter, they 
revolve around the sun in the asteroid belt that is between Mars and Jupiter. Okay, so they cannot support life. The only planet which supports life till date is only Earth. Okay, our scientists are in this mission to find out life on other planets or other comets or asteroids. Okay, so clear with this, which is the largest asteroid? That is our Ceres. Ceres is the largest asteroid which was discovered in 1801. Okay, this is the last largest asteroid in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Okay, so next comes Jupiter. Okay, this is the heaviest of all the planets in the entire solar system. Which is the smallest planet? That is Mercury. Okay, it has lesser weight out of all planets. And this is the heaviest planet out of all solar planets in the solar system. So this is the fifth planet from the sun with a distance of 778 million kilometers. Okay, it is the biggest of all and comparing to earth it is 11 times wider. Okay, and it has rings and its atmosphere is co consisting of mostly hydrogen and helium and it cannot support any life. Okay, how much time does it take for one rotation? It takes 10 hours in the direction of west to east. And how much time does it take for revolution? It takes 12 years in the anti-clockwise direction to revolve around the sun. Clear with this? Okay, and Jupiter has currently we have 69 moons. 15, 3 moons have already been discovered and 16 moons have to be discovered. They are to be named. Okay, so totally 69 moons it has, which are the famous moons Ganymede, Europa, La, Lo and Callisto. These are some of the famous moons of Jupiter. And the largest moon of Jupiter is Ganymede. And it is also the largest of entire solar system. Okay, Ganymede is the largest of Jupiter as well as the largest of the entire solar system. Clear with this? And Voyager 1 and 2, Galileo and Juno are some of the missions which were sent on to Jupiter to study about Jupiter. Clear with this? Voyager 1 and 2. Galileo and Juno are some of the missions of NASA which were sent on to the Jupiter. So this is about Jupiter which is the biggest planet in the entire solar system. Okay. Moving on to the next so planet in the solar system that is Saturn. So it is the sixth planet from the sun and it is one of the outer or Jovian planets. Okay. And it has around a distance from the sun with 1.4 billion kilometers from the sun. Earlier we were seeing million now 1.4 billion kilometers from the sun. Okay, it is also dominated by hydrogen helium and it has rings and it takes 10.7 hours for one rotation that is from west to east and for revolution it takes 29 years because it is farther from the sun in the anti-clockwise direction to revolve around the sun. Okay. And some more facts about Saturn, still now we have 53 moons discovered for Saturn and 9 moons are yet to be discovered. So totally it has 62 moons, which has larger number of moons? Jupiter with 69 moons and second largest is with Saturn with 62 moons. Okay, And Titan, Atlas, Tethys are some of the moons of Saturn. Okay, the Titan watch which has taken the name is from the moon of Saturn. Okay, and Cassini Huygens, Voyager 1 and 2, Pioneer 11 are some of the space missions which were sent to Saturn. And very, uh, very important thing about Saturn is, suppose if I, if suppose if Saturn falls onto water, it is the only planet which will float on water. Okay, because its density is less than water. Okay, whichever objects have density less than water, they will float. So this is the only planet which will float on water because its density is less than water. Clear with this? Moving on to next planet in the solar system, that is the seventh planet, is the Uranus. 
okay so some facts about uranus so it is a seventh planet and it is part of the outer or jovian like planets and it has a distance from the sun of 2.9 billion kilometers and it's mainly made up of icy chains because it is very farther from the sun and it takes and it has 27 moons and it has also rings okay it takes 17 hours for one rotation from west to eastern direction and also for revolution it takes 84 years to revolve around the sun in the anti-clockwise direction okay so voyager 2 of nasa is the only space mission which was sent on to uranus clear with this so uranus has the third, third largest number of moons that is 27 moons first is jupiter with 69 second is saturn with 62 and third is uranus with 27 moons and uranus i'm sorry uranus rotates from east to west like venus and it takes 17 hours to complete its one rotation about its own axis both venus and uranus move in the retrograde motion all the planets move from west to east only venus and uranus rotate from east to west so in on these two planets sun will rise in the west and set in the east clear with this moving on to the neptune the last planet of the solar system that is neptune so it is an icy chain because it is very farther from the sun okay because it receives less heat it is an ice chain it is frozen okay so some facts about neptune so neptune is at 4.5 billion kilometers from the sun and it has helium hydrogen methane etc and it also cannot support life it has 13 moons okay so triton is the largest of all the 13 moons of neptune and it takes 16 hours to rotate about its own axis from west to east and it takes 165 years to complete one revolution around the sun in the anti-clockwise direction okay this is a large last planet in the entire solar system and the eighth one okay and voyager 2 of nasa is the only space mission which was sent to the neptune so this is about the eight planets and along with the eight planets we have studied about asteroids so thank you so much. We shall meet in the next sessions. Thank you.